So moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to look at how we can automate a built-in app in an Android device. So we'll be working with the settings app, which uh, is present in obviously every Android device. And we'll be looking at one of the internet settings where we'll be turning on uh, the airplane mode so that our network is turned off. So let's see how we can do this. First, uh, we'll be going to the APM inspector. Here, uh, I have already uh, saved a capability set, which will help me to open the Android settings in the Android emulator. So let me load this capability set. And here for every uh, uh, built-in app in your device, you need to use two capabilities. One is the app package and one is the app activity. In this case, uh, it is the settings and hence you can see the app package uh, and the app activity are related to settings. So let's go ahead and start this session now. So now you can see uh, the app has loaded the settings here. And what we are going to do here is uh, we are going to go to the network and internet. We'll go inside this and then I will have the network and internet settings here. And then here uh, we have got the airplane mode as you can see. So here uh, we need to tap on the airplane mode so that uh, it is turned on or turned off. Okay, so currently it is turned off as you can see and I'm going to tap it again so that it is turned on. So now you can see there is no internet for this device as the airplane mode is turned on. And that is what we want to achieve. So let's go back to our code and let's see how we can do this. So here uh, we have got uh, two packages now, Android and iOS, and we are going to create a new test under the Android package. So here I'm going to create a new Java class and I'm going to call this um, airplane mode test. Okay, and then inside this, uh, we are going to copy some of the code which we have used earlier. Okay, and then uh, we are going to make some modifications here. We also need to copy the Android driver. Okay, so now here uh, I'm going to remove the capability for APM app and I'm going to add the capability for APM app package, right? And then uh, the value would be com android dot settings. Then uh, we need to add another capability, which is for app activity. So I'm going to change this here. And then here again, dot settings. Okay, so this will um, load the particular uh, Android device with this particular capabilities. Now uh, we will move on to our test. So we'll remove this and we will add uh, some code here uh, in order to automate this particular scenario. So again, uh, let's go back to APM inspector. Here, uh, we need to go back to the previous screen. So we will go to the settings page and here, uh, uh, we will try to identify this network and element. So let's click on it. And here uh, we will see uh, the selector. So it's using the UI automator. So let's copy this and let's come back here. And then uh, we'll say driver dot find element. And we'll use the Android UI automator. And here um, we will then put the value for the selector and then we will say dot click, okay? Next, uh, now we will tap on this. So it is going to click on this particular uh, network and internet and come back here. And then uh, we want to turn this on, right? So now uh, we can look at the selector. It has got an ID, so we will use that as it is unique. So we'll say driver dot find element apm by dot id and then we are going to click on it now since uh, we are clicking on this okay so we also want to validate whether it is actually turned on or not right so once you turn this on you will see that uh, under the internet there is a text airplane mode is on 
So that actually validates that the airplane mode is actually on. So uh, we are going to uh, take the selector for this particular text. And then uh, we are going to use something called assertion. Okay. So this assertion is part of the test ng framework. It helps you uh, to put some validations, which is basically going to compare the expected result versus the actual result. Okay. Here uh, we have got a couple of different options. We'll use the assert true where you can pass the condition and then it will validate whether that condition is true or false. So uh, we are going to do that. Uh, inside this, we are going to say driver dot find element. Again, I will be using the Android UI automator. Inside this, we'll put the value. And then inside this, uh, we are also going to put uh, some condition. And this time around, we are going to use a method called is displayed. Okay, so this method uh, is going to return whether this particular element is displayed uh, there or not. If it is displayed, it will return true and our assertion will pass. If it is not, then our assertion will fail. So that's basically what uh, we want to perform in this particular test, right? So we are first of all clicking on network and internet settings, and then we are uh, turning on the train mode. And then we are checking whether uh, the text is displayed, which is airplane mode is on. So let's go ahead and run this. So let's go back to our APM inspector and then we will close this session. And then uh, we are going to run this particular test. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so as you can see, it clicked on network and internet, but after that, uh, it actually failed. Okay, so why it was not able to click on the next element, which was to turn on the airplane mode, right? So let's uh, debug a little bit on this particular error. So as you can see, it is uh, giving me an error, no such element exception. Uh, element could not be located on the page, okay? And uh, if we go a little bit further, uh, then you will also find which line it is failing. So I can click here and it will take me to this particular line. So this is where it is not able to find this particular element. But we have seen in the app that this particular element exists. And since we are using uh, ID, it is always unique. So there is no way that uh, there are two elements with the same ID. So what is the problem here? So the problem here is synchronization. So your app is uh, taking some time to respond to certain actions, but your APM code uh, is not going to wait for uh, your app to respond because your code is running and uh, it will go ahead and it will try to find that particular element which you are trying to perform um, an action on. But your app has still not loaded that particular element. And that is the reason why uh, it is unable to find this particular element. Now, it is a pretty common scenario whenever you are working with any particular automation, you have uh, these synchronization issues. And we need to resolve this synchronization by using some weight mechanism. So this we'll look in the next session when we discuss about some of the weight mechanisms which we'll use in order to solve this particular issue. We'll also add some more conditions around uh, if the airplane mode is already turned on, uh, then it should not actually go ahead and click on it because then it will be turned off, right? So we need to also check those scenarios uh, in this whole automation. So, so we'll look at all of this um, in the coming up session. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.